Right now, 96 local veterans are on their way to Washington, D.C. to visit national memorials put up in their honor. For many of these aging veterans, this is a long-awaited once-in-a-lifetime trip. Many of these folks gathering early this morning in Sydney don't know each other, but they share a very strong bond. All are World War II and Korean War veterans. We've had some guys come back from this trip, and, and we had one guy that died two weeks later. So it's really special for them and the family that they get to do this. The group Veterans to Washington, D.C., is taking these vets free of charge to see the memorials that stand in their honor. For many of them, this trip is a dream come true. I'll be standing in awe. <laughs> I've never been there, and uh, I, I, I'm just amazed. I'm going to be amazed, I know. Like I say, I've been wanting to go for a while, and I just want to see how the memorials look and all that stuff, because like, I had a few friends killed, and I just want to see if their names are around. School kids, supporters, friends and family lined the streets today and with flags flapping in the wind, the veterans were escorted out of town for a journey sure to create some emotional memories. It's super important for them. Uh, some of these people have never uh, seen their memorial, uh, even in a picture, which is surprising. And uh, they've not been there yet, so it'll be all new for them. As will the much-deserved appreciation and honor. Well, this weekend marks the fourth trip for veterans to Washington, D.C. Organizers say they'll continue these trips as long as there's a need.